We're here with Heidi Michaels and Zuja Wellness to talk about summer and exercise and how to ease yourself into a summer program, especially if you haven't been exercising for a while. So how would one person get started this summer in a good exercise program? Well, I think the first step that people need to make is to show up. So if you decide that you'd like to do a fitness class, come on in and we, we can get people right into classes right away. We take, we take things you know, at a pace that works for the individual, so we encourage people to work at their own pace. Uh, that's really important. Mm -hmm. um, in order for me to continue doing something, I have to feel good about what I'm doing, and I want to feel that I can continue to work towards something and it's not going to feel overwhelming for me. So we understand that, that sometimes it's very difficult for people to come into a program like this and feel like they'll be able, they look around sometimes and perhaps feel like they won't be able to keep up. But we absolutely make sure that we're working with people and we're showing modifications and, it, and we may even need to work individually with somebody in a class to um, maybe make an, a modification that we haven't even shown because there's something specific for them that they need. And that's okay because we all move differently. So I think it's really important for us to just get moving. Great. And speaking of moving, I understand you're going to give us a demonstration of one yes, of the we are. exercises. Yes. This is Annika, and Annika is going to do a demonstration of the snatch to burpee. So she's going to show a snatch to burpee if someone were doing this at probably what their high speed would be. So Annika, if you will. She's snatching the bell overhead, down, jumping back into a burpee. And she's doing this as quickly as she can with good control up and down. Thank you, Annika. So if we were to modify that in a class, which we often do, um, Annika is going to um, be lifting the kettlebell, utilizing her legs with her lift. So she's going to be slowing it down. And then she's going to be walking through the burpee. So this would be a fairly typical modification for this exercise. Annika? So you can see she's using her legs to help lift the bell up and with control setting it down and walking through the burpee. Thank you, Annika. We're going to show you another exercise that, we, that would probably be incorporated into class pretty regularly. We're going to be using a TRX, so Annika is going to be doing some body weight training. And this is something that allows her to simply use her body weight to create the challenge level that she wants. So she's going to go into a squat. And in this case, we're going to have her keep both feet on the ground, and she's going to be doing a squat and pulling herself into a rowing motion. So just her body weight is giving her the resistance that she needs for this exercise. So this would be something that we would do as a modification for this exercise. Now if we wanted to take up the challenge level, we're going to have Annika drop one of the handles and she's going to stand on one leg to do her squat. So she's going to do that same exercise, the squat to row, but she's going to be challenging herself by destabilizing by lifting one foot off the floor. Now she has to utilize her core muscles more and it's requiring more strength for her to be able to do this. So this is a way that we can easily progress people um, into various exercises and they can uh, work their way into these exercises very easily in a class.